Hello everyone. Today we will be reading Peter and the Wolf. This was translated by Maria Carlson and it is illustrated by Charles Miklok Yakak. To Matthew who likes pictures and to Linda who likes music. Early one morning, Peter opened the gate and walked out into the big green meadow. In a tall tree sat Peter's friend, a little bird. Everything is calm and quiet, the bird chirped merrily. Waddling behind Peter came a duck. The duck was delighted that Peter had not closed the gate, and she decided to go for a swim in the deep pond in the meadow. Seeing the duck, the little bird flew down and sat on the grass beside the pond and shrugged. What kind of bird are you if you can't fly? she said. And what kind of bird are you if you can't swim? the duck answered. And she popped into the pond. They argued for a long time. The duck, swimming around the pond, the little bird, hopping along the bank, Peter suddenly noticed a cat stealing through the grass. The cat thought, that bird is busy arguing and now is my chance to catch it. Silently on velvet paws, the cat crept toward the bird. Look out, Peter called just in time and the little bird quickly fluttered up into the tree. The duck quacked at the cat angrily from the middle of the pond. The cat paced around the tree. Is it worth climbing up that high, he thought? By the time I get up there, the bird will have flown away. Peter paid no attention to what his grandfather said. Oh. Peter's grandfather came out of the house. He was angry because Peter had gone past the gate into the meadow. There were dangerous places out there. What is a wolf? What if a wolf should come out of the woods? Peter paid no attention to what his grandfather said. Brave boys like Peter were not afraid of wolves. Nevertheless, his grandfather took Peter's hand and led him back home and closed the gate firmly. Just then, a huge gray wolf did come out of the woods. That cat quickly climbed the tree. The duck quacked and scrambled out of the pond. But no matter how fast the duck tried to run, the wolf ran faster. He came closer and closer. He caught up with her, he grabbed her, and swallowed her. Whoa. Now the cat perched on the branch of the tree, the little bird on another, farther away from the cat. The wolf paced around the tree, looking up at them with hungry eyes. Peter, who stood behind the closed gate, had seen everything that had happened, but he wasn't at all frightened. He ran home, found a heavy rope, and then climbed up on the high stone wall. One of the branches of the tree reached as far as the wall. Peter grabbed the branch, the branch and nimbly climbed into the tree. He said to the little bird, Circle around the wolf's nose, but be careful not to let him catch you. The little bird flew down and almost touched the wolf's nose with her wings, and the angry wolf jumped every which way. Oh, how the little bird teased the wolf. How the wolf wanted to catch her, but the little bird was quick, and the wolf could do nothing. Peter made a loop at the end of his rope and lowered it slowly, caught the wolf's tail in it, and pulled it tight. The wolf knew he was caught, and in his rage, he jumped about, trying to free himself. But Peter tied the other end of the rope to the tree. The more the wolf jumped, the tighter the he pulled the rope around his own tail. Just at that moment, some hunters came out of the woods. They had been tracking the wolf and were firing their rifles. Peter called to them from the tree. Don't shoot! The little bird and I have already caught the wolf. Help us take him away to the zoo. And so they did. Just imagine the triumphant procession. 
Peter walked in front. Behind him came the hunters, leading the wolf. Peter's grandfather and the cat came last. Grandfather shook his head with displeasure. And what if Peter had not caught the wolf, he said. What then? Above them flew the little bird chirping. Hurrah for Peter and me. Just see what we have caught. And if you listen very carefully, you will hear a duck quacking in the wolf's stomach, for the wolf, in his haste, had swallowed the duck alive. Well, that was good. I will edit some pictures in here and have it together for you in a little bit. Thank you much.